want to share with you yeah. and your family, your family. The love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So tune in, tune in, and we will grow together to increase our faith with God. With one touch, ministries, we're touching hearts and changing lives. Today is a glorious day yeah. because we woke up this morning. Yes, we did. We were closed in our right minds. Didn't have to do it, but he did. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, I praise God for everybody. Listen, I want to give glory and honor to my pastor, Pastor Shannon E. Young. God bless you, man of God. Thank you for releasing me to speak a word today. Listen, I don't count it, count it uh, robbery. I don't, uh, I don't take it lightly that um, I have the opportunity to uh, be able to stand before you to release a word whenever God gives me. I was a little bit nervous today. I said, Lord, I'm nervous. And my husband looked at me like, what you nervous about? I said, because I have to preach. And he said, well, you're doing so much. What, what's wrong with you? You know, but you, <laughs> I know I do it a lot. I know I speak. But let me tell you something. You know, I don't take it lightly when God gives me an assignment. I don't take it lightly because let me tell you something. It's important for us to understand that we put things in perspective. A lot of times we are so quick to, oh, yeah, God, whatever you want me to do, you know, and you do it halfway. But let me tell you, the reason why I get nervous because that's my spirit being humble. Yeah. You'll catch that later, I guess. You'll catch it later. <laughs> That's my spirit being humble. And the problem today is that we don't have too many humble leaders. We got a lot of leaders that got a lot of see me demons. Well. Meaning they want you to be, they want to be seen. Come on, come on, come on, somebody. I ain't getting too many hearts. I ain't getting too many likes. I ain't getting too much nothing. People ain't talking to me right now because, you know, like I said, it's a see me demon that's running around. It's running rampant in the kingdom. I'm going to say that again. It's a see me demon that's running rampant in the kingdom. And God is calling for us to do a whole lot better. God is calling for us to do better. God is calling for us to act better. God is calling for us to walk better, live better. Y'all, I said live better. I think that I, I think I hit somebody's toes. I said God is calling for us to live better because we can't keep preaching. Yes. You can't keep teaching this word and you live like hell. Well. Yep, I said hell. Because yeah. let me tell you something. Anytime you sin and you okay with sin then that means you okay with sending your soul and other people that's attached to you My to hell. God. Okay, y'all not hearing me, y'all. Y'all not hearing me. I said, anytime you are okay with sin and still preaching God's word, then and that means you have people that's attached to you. So you're really okay with not only sending your soul to hell, but you don't have a problem with sending someone else's soul wow. to hell. Wow. Wow. Glory wow. to God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. We don't count it. We don't count this as a joke. We don't count this just as fun. Let me tell you something. God, I thank you today for choosing me. I thank you for restoring my body. When I tell you, Pastor, yes. the amount of anointing that was in this building yes. this morning. We, this is our second service here today. Yes. This is number two. We have morning service today. My God from Zion. So the second service, we are getting the droppings of the oil. Yes. We're getting the overflow of the oil. So if you see me go crazy today, well, don't pay me no mind. Do your 
sister? Two favors. Get crazy with me. Uh-huh. Or just stand there and say, God, do your thing in her. I'm trying to tell you. I say, get crazy with me. Or just say, God, do your thing up in her. Okay, y'all? I, I praise God. But Father, we just continue to thank you today. We, can, we, can, we, we continue to give you glory today, God. We thank you for the overflow. God, we thank you for the overflow right now. God, we thank you for the overflow right now, God. I gotta ask you to decrease me that you shall you shall be increased, God. In us, God, use me for your glory. In the name of Jesus, use me for your glory, God. Use me as you please, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And it is so yes. in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. My God. Listen, I'm telling you. I see Evangelist I and said, I'm about to get crazy with you. Listen, I want you to do me a favor. Tag somebody. Share this with someone. I'm telling you because I'm telling you the overflow that's in this building. I'm going to do one of two things. I'm just going to go crazy or I'm just going to go crazier. I'm telling you, I'm getting ready to escalate up in here. You know, I had a family member to tell me the other day, uh, last week when I answered the phone. She said, hi, Dede. I said, hi, how you doing? And she told me who she was. I said, hi, how you feeling? She said, I'm good. We began to talk. And then she said to me, she said, oh, my God, you got a nice little voice. Oh, you sound so nice. I said, I am. I said, well, you know, I don't get hyped all the time. She said, you know, I said, no, unless the Holy Ghost hit me. Uh -huh. I said, when the Holy Ghost hit me, well. but I said, that's when you're going to see something. Honey, she thought that was hilarious. She ain't know what to do with herself after that one. Yeah. I said, because see, the Holy Ghost get a hold of me. I don't know what to do with myself. I try to be cute. I try to be nice. But it don't always work. <laughs> <laughs> but I praise God. Hallelujah. Listen, let's get ready to do some work. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. Come on, let's get ready to do some work.
is good. I keep trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to say bye.
to go live on Facebook and to deliver a word. To deliver a word to God's people. And God told me to tell his people to push each other. Because this is the season to push. This is the season for us to push one another and not get weary and well-doing. That we're supposed to love on one another. And we're supposed to push each other yes. tremendously. And not worry about if they're gonna push you back. Uh -huh. The problem of the kingdom today, we don't know how to push one another. And I thank God because even though I wasn't feeling well, I still had to push. I got phone calls through the time that I was not feeling well. And one of my sisters and brothers, they called on me and my husband and they asked us some questions and we, we tapped into the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost began to talk to us to tell them what to do. And at the end of the conversation, we had to let them know, don't you listen to nobody else. Y'all better push. And when I tell you, the Holy Ghost gave me power today. The Holy Ghost gave me a power that was unreal today because let me tell you something. I began to push. And in return of me pushing, I got healed. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, somebody. I said I got healed. I got set free. And I was able to push other people. I was able. Come on. I was able to push somebody. I was able to give somebody else a push. Yeah. To help them launch things. And, uh, I, I is now over. My God. And I said recess. He said recess is now over, y'all. My God. Turn to your neighbor and say neighbor. 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 Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Recess is now over. Oh, come on, somebody. I said, <laughs> glory to God. I said recess is now over. Bars. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shot. Da, 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 da. Some 
recess is now over. Jesus. Wow. I remember the time being outside at recess. I love the swings because the swings allowed you to go from one level to the next. One thing I like about the swings, you may start off low, uh -huh. but eventually you have the mobility to make it to a higher level. But it also determines how much you are willing to walk. That's right, that's right. Woo. Glory to God. When you're on the swings, you can't sit on the swing and expect to go to the mountain top. Glory to God. Because what happens, you don't have no, 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 you're not going anywhere. You're just standing still. One thing I like about the swings is because I had the ability to push myself when I didn't have what a pusher. That's right. when it pertains to their emotions. Because one day, they're your friends. The next day, they can't stand you. Then the next day, they done told about 10 people a lie about you. Yeah. And then the next day, they wanna become friends again. This is how children act at recess. My God. So there will be times I will have a girlfriend to push me. And then there was times when I didn't have nobody to push me. And then there was times when I was the pusher. And let me tell you something, growing up in the 80s, I'm a 1980s baby. That's right, a 1980s baby. And then the school that I went to, I went to um, I'm a countryside elementary school um, in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. And during that time, it wasn't many black that could afford to go to that school. So it was a whole lot of salt, but once in a blue moon you will see a piece of pepper sitting around. And it just so happened that I was a part of the five people who were pepper. Glory to God. Alright, so when I would go to school, and because I wasn't a, I'd never been a skinny little kid, I always had a little plump to me. They size you up and they say, oh, she a big girl. She's strong. She can carry the weight. Uh -huh, uh -huh, oh, uh -huh. he a big dude. That's He's say. strong enough. He can carry the weight. But no one knew, for real, for real, my upper body strength wasn't as strong as I needed it to be. Come on, somebody. I was strong down the bottom, but my upper body strength really wasn't that tight. I wasn't able, I wasn't that from the monkey bars with one handle. I barely could get two on there. So I know I could swing with one. So when nobody really knew that my upper body strength was not strong enough huh, to carry everybody else's weight. But because, uh -huh. because people made me feel strong, I just chose to carry the weight. Wow. I chose to carry the weight because people made me seem strong. And this is what's going on in the kingdom. Wow. People make you feel strong by giving you an applause. Ooh, come on, somebody. Woo! Hallelujah. I think I hit somebody's toe. Yeah. I guess I hit that cord on that baby toe. Huh? My God, from Zion. Some people don't understand. Huh? People will make you feel like you're strong in the kingdom. Huh? But really, deep
My God. My God. So I played on the swings. And I kept it real simple. Every now and then I would get on the seesaw. But I didn't like the bump. Mm. Come on. How many of you know when you have a seesaw, you got to have what? Two people. Two people. That's right. And like there was many a days that I played on the seesaw. And it was just me and God. Uh -oh. But let me tell you something. I couldn't see God. And every now and then I quite didn't always feel him. Uh-huh. And I would be on the seesaw and I would go up, come down. But I didn't like the bump because it hurt my butt. Come on. It would hurt my tushy. Yeah. So I didn't play on the seesaw because I needed two people. So the Holy Ghost tried me. My God. Y'all come on, somebody. I said the Holy Ghost tried me how to play by myself. He said, now I'm going to show you how to get some entertainment. He said, daughter, if you would just learn how to get on the swings, if you would learn to get on the swings, I'm telling you, daughter, that you can push yourself. Yes. Come on. Some of y'all better go ahead and get on them swings because recess is almost over. Come on. <laughs> you better learn how to get on the swings, y'all. Yes. Because you know, let me tell you something about the swings. My God. I would get on the swings and I knew only two things could happen. Yes. If I push myself, uh -huh. I can get to I can get to another level. My God. And if I continue to push myself, I can get to the what? Next level. Yes, yes. yes. But every now and then it would be fun to have somebody to push me. My God. Because see, I felt like if I had a pusher uh -huh. behind me, uh -huh. pushing me, what would happen? Woo, glory to God. Oh, I knew God you was going to do this thing. Uh -huh. Hot, hot, shut the If I had a pusher pushing me, uh -huh. I could get to my level faster. Yeah. And my God, I could kind of skip some levels. Yes, yes. Because sometimes pushing a pusher behind you will get so fancy that they will push you so far up in the air. Thank you. 
something that was personal for 30 years. My God. And I believe it was Thursday night. The Holy Ghost allowed her to come on my live. And when she came on, the Holy Ghost began to speak to me. Now when she went through this, I was a child. I was about four or five years old when she went through this. Yes. So how, and I did not know all the information about her. Yes. But the Holy Ghost, yes. that's why I said, you want so, so is good ground. I ain't going to make you so, I'm not going to make you, I'm not going to get on here and prophesy and tell somebody to get $10,000. If you want to give $10,000, get $10,000. If you want to give a thousand, give a thousand. I know it's income tax time. So you can show what? I said I ain't gonna make up no prophecy so you can show because it's income tax time. Y'all got to be smart about this thing. If you think about one of the major reasons why a lot of people are telling you to sell is because it's income tax time.
country. She's a friend of mine. God bless you, woman of God. I see you tuning in. Oh, shout out my mama, something. I hear God. Is it okay if I release this word to you? I hear God. Oh, shout out my mama. Mrs. Richard. Last name is Richard. Oh, yeah, my mama, something. I hear God. Oh, shout out to the Woman of God. God told me to tell you. He said, I blow it on your confidence. My God. He said, I blow it on your confidence. He said, I'm giving you an opportunity to live again. God told me to tell you, you shall live and not die. We bind the spirit of suicide. My God. We bind the spirit of oppression and push depression. Yeah. We come against it right now. In the name of Jesus, yeah. you shall live and not die. 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 You shall live. 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 Thank you.